The process of installing offshore wind energy foundation jacket pile grippers and grout seals is a sophisticated endeavor that underscores the importance of tailored engineering solutions in renewable energy projects. The pile grippers are custom designed to meet specific load requirements, ensuring that they provide optimal stability during the installation phase, regardless of challenging weather conditions. This adaptability is crucial for maintaining safety and structural integrity while mitigating risks during offshore operations. In addition to stability, these grippers are equipped with contingency features that facilitate quick responses to unforeseen circumstances that may arise during their operational lifespan. This reliability enhances the overall performance of offshore wind turbines, allowing them to function efficiently even in adverse conditions. On the other hand, grout seals play a vital role in ensuring watertightness within offshore installations. Manufactured with a unique double-lip design, these seals deliver dependable sealing performance across various wind turbine structures and platforms. IRM produces grout seals with diameters ranging from 600 mm to 3,650 mm, catering to diverse project needs. Additionally, these grout seal assemblies can be paired with appropriate mud scrapers to prevent sediment intrusion from below the jacket, further enhancing the integrity of the installation. Together, these components not only exemplify advanced engineering practices but also contribute to the durability and sustainability of offshore wind energy systems. Wind turbine blade testing is an essential process to ensure each blade's durability, efficiency, and environmental resilience before deployment. During these tests, engineers apply intense forces along different axes of the blade both edgewise and flatwise to measure resistance to bending, flexing, and twisting. Each blade undergoes static testing, where it is subjected to extreme one-time loads, and fatigue testing, where it experiences continuous, repetitive stress. For example, one side might be exposed to wind force simulations of up to 100 km per hour, pushing the limits to ensure structural resilience and validate design standards. The testing protocols are adjusted based on the blade's size and material, ensuring that it can withstand environmental challenges, from strong storms to erosion caused by wind-borne particles. This rigorous testing is crucial for sustainability, as wind turbines need to operate efficiently with minimal maintenance, optimizing energy production over long periods. Durability in various climates ensures reduced downtime and fewer replacements, supporting environmental goals by lowering material usage and maintenance energy costs. As blades continue to grow larger, these testing processes are continuously updated to ensure the reliability and efficiency of wind energy sources that contribute to global clean energy goals. Transporting. Transporting enormous wind turbine blades is an intricate and challenging process, primarily due to their sheer size and weight. The doll system, specially designed for transporting wind blades, is instrumental in simplifying this task, particularly when navigating complex routes with sharp turns or restricted spaces. This system uses advanced self-steering trailer technology with hydraulic lifting adapters, which allow each blade to be lifted, rotated, and angled as needed for maneuverability. This flexibility is essential on winding roads and narrow passages, helping avoid obstacles without needing extensive modifications to the surroundings, such as removing roadside barriers. One of the standout features of the doll system is its ability to handle the increasing length and weight of wind blades. With newer blades reaching up to 100 meters, the system's adaptable trailer configurations ensure safe and balanced load distribution. Self-supporting technology allows each blade to remain stable throughout the journey, and the dolly-equipped trailers have a wide slewing range, making tight turns more manageable. Additionally, the hydraulic lifting adapter can adjust the height by nearly a meter, which is beneficial when traveling over uneven terrain or beneath low clearance structures. In practice, the doll system is used by major transport companies, allowing efficient movement from production sites to installation locations, often in remote areas. This system is crucial in the wind energy sector, enabling the deployment of larger and more powerful turbines, which support global renewable energy goals by making challenging transport routes accessible and sustainable. The installation of one of the 70 Adwin AD5 to 135 turbines at Iberdrola's Wikinger offshore wind farm by Fred. Before any installation took place, the components of the Adwin AD5 to 135 turbines, including the blades, nacellas, and towers, were transported to staging areas where final checks and assembly preparations were made. 
The complex logistics required to transport such massive components were managed through precision planning, ensuring each part was safely delivered to the site without delay. The Brave Turn itself was a marvel to observe in action. A self-elevating platform with massive legs that extend to the seabed, the vessel could lift itself out of the water to create a stable base, essential for the precise work of turbine installation. This design allowed it to withstand sea conditions that would typically hinder operations on conventional vessels. For this project, the Brave Turn was equipped with specialized equipment capable of lifting components weighing hundreds of tons. Each turbine section, from the nacelle to the rotor and tower segments, was lifted and positioned by the vessel's towering cranes with remarkable accuracy, minimizing risks and ensuring secure installation. The first step in the installation sequence was positioning and securing the turbine towers on pre-installed foundations. The foundations themselves were anchored firmly into the seabed, ensuring stability and resistance against harsh oceanic conditions. Each tower section was carefully aligned and bolted into place. Following the towers, the nacellas were hoisted atop the towers using the Brave Turn's powerful crane system. These nacellas, which housed the turbine's main components, weighed several hundred tons and required precise handling to align them correctly with the tower tops. The installation of the rotor blades was a particularly delicate phase, as each blade had to be lifted, positioned, and mounted with precision. The Brave Turn used specialized lifting equipment designed to handle the rotor's three blades at once, forming a star configuration that would then be secured onto the nacelle. This technique saved valuable time and reduced the number of lifts required, which was critical in managing weather windows and maintaining project momentum. Throughout the project, environmental considerations played a central role. Given the Baltic Sea's unique ecosystem, all installation processes had to comply with environmental regulations to minimize disturbances to marine life. Safety was paramount for the crew on board the Brave Turn, who worked under challenging conditions. Daily safety briefings, robust protocols, and continuous monitoring ensured that the team remained vigilant and prepared to handle unforeseen situations. The crew's dedication to upholding rigorous health and safety standards allowed them to complete the project without major incidents, showcasing Fred. Olsen Wind Carrier's commitment to a safe and environmentally responsible operation. The completion of the turbine installations by October 22, 2017, marked a significant achievement for the Wikinger Offshore Wind Farm. In the rapidly evolving field of offshore wind energy, projects like Wikinger set a precedent for future developments. They illustrate how advancements in technology, coupled with expertise and commitment to safety and environmental stewardship, can successfully harness the power of wind in some of the world's most challenging locations. In the realm of offshore wind energy, the Navantia Wind Flow Project stands as a testament to innovation, particularly in the construction and deployment of its groundbreaking jacket foundation. Utilizing cutting-edge 4.0 technology, Navantia meticulously monitors the entire progress of the project, ensuring efficiency and precision throughout. The construction of the jacket, which measures an impressive height of approximately 70 meters and weighs around 1,500 tons, takes place entirely at the Farol port, a strategic decision that circumvents the complex and costly offshore installation operations traditionally associated with such projects. This approach not only streamlines the manufacturing process but also enhances safety and reduces logistical challenges. Once the jacket foundation is completed, the next critical phase involves transferring this colossal structure onto a barge for transportation to the offshore installation site. This transfer requires careful coordination and precise engineering, as the jacket must be secured to withstand the rigors of marine travel. Compared to conventional wind turbine jackets, the Navantia design boasts several advantages. Its lightweight structure reduces the amount of material required, translating into lower construction costs and a smaller environmental footprint. Additionally, the three-legged configuration offers unparalleled stability in turbulent marine conditions, significantly extending the operational lifespan of the turbine, which can exceed 25 years under optimal conditions. As the jacket embarks on its journey, the integration of smart technology enables real-time tracking of its movement, the installation of the first semi-submersible floating wind turbine in the North Sea marks a groundbreaking moment for renewable energy, specifically along the east coast of Scotland. This ambitious project, executed by Bourbon Subsea in collaboration with Vryhoff, 
exemplifies innovative engineering solutions in offshore wind technology. The installation process began with meticulous planning and preparation. Engineers and technicians coordinated the arrival of the floating structure, ensuring that it was safely offloaded from transport vessels before being towed to the installation site. Upon reaching the designated area, teams swiftly began to deploy the mooring systems essential for stabilizing the turbine. Critical to this operation was the installation of anchors, which involved precise maneuvers to secure the floating platform in challenging marine conditions. Engineers worked tirelessly to adhere to strict installation tolerances, meticulously monitoring each. With the turbine fully operational, the team celebrated a significant milestone in the pursuit of renewable energy, further establishing Scotland's role as a leader in the floating wind industry. This remarkable achievement showcases the collaborative efforts of Bourbon Subsea and Vryhoff, highlighting their commitment to advancing offshore wind technology and contributing to a more sustainable future.